I jump up and down, up and down. I just stabbed myself with the pen. You wanna tell me nothing? Hello, ha, hello, ha, hello, hello, hello. And happy Super Bowl Sunday. From a very Christmassy looking Misha, I apologize that I look so damn Christmassy. I've got these green Boohoo Man jumper on, which is supposed to be Kobe's, but he doesn't like it, so it's mine. Um, and a red lip, and then a white scrunchie. So I'm kind of looking Christmassy. But today's video is not at all Christmassy, considering we are nowhere near Christmas. Well, actually, we're kind of closer to Christmas than we are to summer. But today I'm doing a summer haul of Shein pieces. Yay! I have got a big meaty box here filled with swimwear and just clothes and it's basically Ibiza, Ibiza outfits from Shein that I wanted to try out so that's exactly what's gonna happen so yes this video is sponsored by Shein thank you very much but you guys know I am literally obsessed with Shein I would shop there I have shopped there with my own money I'm just obsessed with it I'm on the website all the damn time and just what can I say? The halls speak for themselves and literally at this point 90% of my wardrobe is Shein so that kind of speaks for itself as well. Anyway, so shall we get a wiggle on? We shall. Now the first item I'm going to show you, I have actually unpackaged all of this because I'm greedy and impatient but there is one item that I did try on, the rest of them I didn't try on and this is that one item and then I put it on my Instagram stories and pardon me everyone was blank and obsessed so it's a bikini you may have gathered and it's in the most beautiful vibrant purple it's even more vibrant than it's coming up on camera now this is one of those like weird underwire shapes do you see what i mean that it's literally like I don't know, is that what the inside of a bra looks like? Who knows, I don't wear them. But I thought, well, your gal wants to find out if this looks good on her boobies. Because in my head, this should give me the best boobies ever. But you guys shall wait and see. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. They want to tell me nothing. Okay, so here is the bikini top. Now, as I can see, it does make my boobs look quite good. It doesn't give them like the biggest cleavage, but it like gives them like a really nice healthy cleavage. If that's a thing, I'm not sure. Um, it is actually a bit loose on my back. I got this in a size small and I feel like my top half is more of an extra small and my bottoms is a small um, but I don't think they actually did an extra small in this one. So basically I tie it together. Okay, hello. You always decide it's dinner time whenever I'm filming. I'll be back once I fed him. Gonna now go to the kitchen in my bikini, love that for me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, even whilst I was downstairs just in the kitchen, the top popped open a couple times. So it probably is actually safer that I'm gonna tie it rather than do it on the clasp. Then the bottoms are really flattering. They're like a very high-waisted bottom. Um, and then that is what the back looks like. They are obviously quite cheeky, but I'm enjoying it. Yes, I love the colour. I think this is really, really nice. And it wouldn't give you too bad tan lines either, which is brill. Okay, now let's move on to a definite Ibiza appropriate item. So, <laughs> apparently I think I'm going to a rave because I got myself bright pink cycling shorts and a matching bright pink crop top. I actually plan on layering this with things, not just wearing them by themselves. So stay tuned, but um, let's put this on and see what I look like. Interesting. Okay, so this is definitely an interesting concept. So, top is quite see-through, you can defo see full nippage, but also, I thought that was the front and this was the back, but you can actually, but then I don't think that looks very nice. Oh, brilliant, there's a group of businessmen walking past my window staring at me like, why is she talking to herself? Well, actually, you'll find out that I'm a YouTuber. That they don't teach you that in business school. I don't blame them. Anyway, so yeah, you can obviously do it all the way up. This is giving me similar vibes of the We Are Teller by Grace Fit. But obviously I'm not saying to go and buy this instead. Obviously support Grace. She's doing literally amazing and the brand is 
fabulous but it is giving me those sort of vibes um i should have got this in an extra small these cycling shorts although comfy at this size are so baggy um so i typically like to pull my cycling shorts up a little bit can we just see though they'd be better if they were a bit more sucky but they actually don't look awful Could i wear this set together probably not also would i wear such light fabric cycling shorts with nothing like and a crop top probably not but i still like them because my plan was to pair the cycling shorts with this skirt so this is obviously another shein piece now this is the skirt because obviously the skirt is see-through we may have gathered that by now um so i thought i need to put something underneath it looking at it i probably could have just done um oh the zips a bit oh there we go i could have probably just done like swim shorts but i thought cycling shorts could work okay let me just recombobulate because the skirt's completely twisted to be fair to myself this idea has worked and this does work a treat for not flashing your bits but i do think i would actually prefer this skirt with bikini bottoms i do think i have a pair of pink bottoms to come i'm going to steal them out of the bag i'm going to whack off these cycling shorts and i'm going to put on these bikini bottoms and there's also a matching top for this skirt so i'll try that as well i think i can more see me wearing those shorts with like an oversized jumper do you get my vibe okay so now i've got the skirt on with now Alfie's eaten, he's decided he wants to play. Alfie, I left the back door open for you so you could go and run around and have a poop after your dinner. And then also, I left all your teddies out for you. So can you behave, please? Anyway, back to the skirt. Alfie! <laughs> so this is what it looks like with the bikini bottoms. I definitely think it's more flattering and more Ibiza appropriate. And then... Shall we move on to the matching top that it comes with? This one. Now, I'm not quite sure why it's got that white bow. It doesn't really go. And I'm probably just going to cut it off. I'm just going to use my little parcel, parcel, even open a blade, and just cut off this white bow. Just because I don't feel like it goes. Like, it's a very random addition. <gasps> I just stabbed myself with the pen. Wow, okay, kids, please be safe. And adults, because I'm an adult and I'm an idiot. Actually, am I an adult? That's a very lucrative term. Okay, so, skirt on. Now, this top, I am not sure what to put with this top right now, because it is also see-through, so it needs some sort of top. At this point, I'm thinking, do I twizzle this around just for try-on effect? Um, eh yeah and turn it into a little not that cropped me shirt you just got a boob out okay let me get the gist i'm trying to go for and then i'm gonna grab this crop top and i don't want to be monetized on youtube so i'm putting it on with a top <laughs> for now or i'd probably just get like a strapless pink bikini top because I do think that would work. The matching top that I have for this is actually neon green, so that doesn't work. Okay, so we get the gist. I only got this top because it came with the skirt, but I only really wanted the skirt, um, just because I wasn't sure what I would wear with it. It's actually quite cute, but I'm still not sure what I would wear with it. The actual top I had planned, can we see that I did like a little outfit? Was this set thing in Bobby. Now this is like a, sh what if you should even call that fabric? Like a, I don't know, like a very stiff fabric, um, a little white top and then it's got like this glitter over bit. Now I don't know if I'm going to like the white bit or just the glitter bit but I'm going to pop it on with the skirt because that was the original outfit I had planned. You know when you plan something in your head and it looks a lot better in your head than in real life? This top is actually adorable. I'm really digging it. With this skirt, it is a train wreck. 
this is not a good outfit i'm hoping that if i take off the white thing underneath it might save it side note you could not wear this white thing with nothing else because it is very much see-through but i do think this white thing with the sparkly and denim shorts would be adorable i'm just gonna de-white bit and then i've popped back on the glittery and we can probably more understand my vibe now i'm still not sure that this is going to be my ibiza outfit i feel like it's cute but i would prefer this top with denim shorts but i did get a matching handbag in case i did want to wear this and it is i'm pretty sure it's a kid's bag but i ain't putting an age on this it's a rainbow bag i just thought this looks so cute in ibiza it's actually a really good size so like i could fit my camera i could fit my phone i could fit my shoot i need to go out and order my new id because otherwise i'm gonna take my parcel with me every night out in ibiza which is far too dangerous i don't want to get lost in the country left even um okay so we're just gonna pop on at the crossbody strap because of course it looks adorable like this but practically if you're ever gonna go on a girl's holiday or any sort of night clubbing thing i don't understand why people don't have bags that are crossbody okay so can we see can we get the gist i was going for it is adorable but i more look like i'm going to like a festival in the uk or like a rave very sweet so i am impressed now of course also i will link all the items down below just a side note but as i've got the bikini bottoms on i'm also going to pop on the bikini top to this set that i picked up so you guys know i'm obsessed with neon um but i liked how this one was like a neon top and then like the bright pink bottoms um so yeah it's got like this seat belt detailing like a hooky hooky um and then i think it's supposed to be under booby but we will find out let me pop this on the cups look really weird so i'm just gonna remove them okay let's try and get out the most under boob without nipple that we can <laughs> okay here is the next bikini set now these bottoms are definitely a bit smaller so they do nip me at the sides a little bit but it's not the end of the world um and then this top actually fits quite good i feel like this band could maybe be a bit tighter and then it would pull my boobs in even more but i am kind of feeling the under boob let's do a test if i jump up and down up and down no nip comes out so fabulous i would also kind of wear this as a top i don't know if that's acceptable but then again anything's acceptable on ibiza um so yeah i do like it i like the mix of colors um it would also go with the rainbow bag and then the back is i think pretty darn cheeky and then the back of the bikini is just like a normal bikini but now i'm really feeling this top I like it. I could also put it with like a neon green bottom that I already have if I wanted to not do the pink. My question is, do these... Okay, yeah, these do undo. Maybe be a bit careful. Um, because imagine you're partying away. Oh, oh. And then, yeah, we don't want to go there, do we? Now, let's do back up my seatbelt strap. I did actually pick up a kimono. I don't necessarily know that this is for this bikini but i feel like this will give it the best show so this is a light pastel rainbow kimono honestly guys this is beautiful <gasps> wow million percent i would wear this with like an outfit for like the daytime with like a pair of shorts and a white top or even for like a festival but guys this is so stunning look at that print look at this oh, looks so expensive now let me move you back over here so i can try and show you the length um i need to push down the camera mish well done um can you see kind of it's basically got the ruffles continuing all the way it doesn't quite like hit the floor so i could wear this just with sandals and it would be absolutely fine but guys i'm actually obsessed with this look at it my goodness me it's so beautiful <gasps> mum is going to be wanting to take this on her holiday isn't she next up should we move on to a little dress now this looks quite 
big. This is a size extra small apparently. Maybe I'm imagining it, but this is kind of like one of those Instagram boutique dresses, you know the spotty ones everyone's been wearing. Um, and it's adorable. So it's also got like some reddish pinkish flowers, different size dots, roughly sleeves, a roughly skirt. I have a feeling Anya might be stealing this because she's actually going to Ibiza like this weekend. But it would have already gone by the time that you guys are watching this. Um, whereas I don't go till September. So, you know, I'll be kind and let her take some of the clothes. You know, the giving sister that I am. But let's pop this bad boy on. I also just think it'll be perfect for England, to be fair. Look at these damn sassy sleeves. These sleeves are stunning. With this lipstick, this is a vibe. Okay, now the dress is actually very long. So I'll try and show you the full length which is kind of difficult but it's like to my knee so i think this would look better because it's a bit baggy around here if i belted it and like made it a bit shorter at the same time we'll see if it will work but i just think it needs something just to make it a little bit more sexy oh my god okay that worked a treat so obviously you can use literally any belt. I just literally grabbed this one because it was by my bed. This makes the dress look so much more adorable. It makes the length a lot more like wearable. It's not so like granny and I'm really vibing it. This is adorable. I think just like some white trainers or like some black boots, it would look trez chic. I might actually wear that Wear that, wear this, this weekend. Yep, this is going straight in my suitcase, woo! Okay, next I have a co-ward. Now, again, we all know I love a co-ward. This is like a seashell print. I don't know if you can quite see, but it's got like shells all over it. It's kind of in a similar color pattern and very actually similar to this dress that I'm wearing. Whoopsies. Um, but it's like a rougey skirt and then it's a little long sleeved crop top with a tie front. I really like a tie front. I think it's very flattering on my boobies. Well, isn't this just Trez blooming adorable? Guys, this is actually adorable so this is a little cohort as i said the top has these little adjustable straps you tie it at the front it is a little bit under booby but i could loosen it the sleeves are fabulous the skirt is honestly there's nothing not to love this is so cute the skirts a really nice length and it just oh i'm obsessed it's so cute this is what it looks like from the back and yeah, this cinchy fabric is just really comfy. And I need to check the weather forecast. Thursday, 23 degrees, cloud. Friday, 22 degrees, rain, 60%. Saturday, 40% rain, 19 degrees. Wow, why is it gonna go away with copes that it's blooming rain? Onwards, we have another swimwear item. So this is what I plan, if it looks nice on me, to wear to Ibiza Rocks Bongos Bingo when we go. So yes, Bongos Bingo. Ibiza Rocks is a little bit more like young and a little bit more like colourful and like neon carnival vibes in my experience. Um, so I got this like one piece cutout. It's got the lilac bottoms and then the turquoise top and then it's got these struggle straddle little like tassels and I just thought this would be really really cute so I thought I'd try it. Now I'm not quite sure how you put this on. I think the shape is kind of inspired by, do you remember Sarah Ashcroft's in the style swimsuit that like blew up when it first came out because everyone was obsessed. Okay, well I didn't expect this one to be under booby, but it's actually probably more under booby than the other one. Now I'm actually really digging this. So it's a really flattering shape. It shows like my personal favorite part of my body, which is like this bit. Um, but also, these tassels are very cleverly placed that they kind of show, like, I don't necessarily love this bit of my hip dip in my body. Um, so it covers that quite nicely. Now, I don't normally mind them, but it's just like an extra added feature. Like, I don't mind having my hip dips out, but it's nice to have the option not to. Um, so this is what the back looks like. It's honestly the most adorable like colour pattern. Colour pattern? Colour palette. I also kind of want to get like a gold belly chain to put around here. I think that would look Trez cute. 
Now, I did also pick up these trainers. Um, they're not exactly the right shade of yellow, but to Ibiza Rocks, I feel like it's not the sort of place you wear heels. It's, oh no. Oh no, they do not fit me. Oh no, I must have got them in a six. No, I got them in a seven. Okay, wait, let me take out the insole and then maybe they'll fit. I just feel like Ibiza Rocks will be a little bit more like trainers and swimsuit vibes. They're still a bit small. Wow, when people on the reviews said size up two times, they were right. Okay, if you're getting any of these style trainers, size up two times. These are going to be going to Anya. Hopefully she will like them. If not, I will take them to Chloe. We've got lots of different shoe size variations in this household. Not that Chloe lives here, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this. And also, it goes so nicely with the rainbow um, pastel beach cover-up. But I don't know if I'd be for rocks is like a beach cover-up sort of place. I feel like it isn't. But oh, that looks so nice though. I might just do it anyway. So yes, okay, moving on to the final few items. Now I've got one more dress and then two tops and an accessory. So this dress looks absolutely stunning. It's like a goldy brownie halter neck, like scarf patterned orange dress the only problem is this was a size small because that was the smallest they did and it looks quite roomy i'm hoping that this is the sort of dress that like you can get away with it but we shall see i would say get an extra small if you're a size six and get a small if you're a size eight in sheen clothes oh okay yeah no it is quite baggy only like here, like it fits quite nicely on the skirt. It is a little bit long. I'm thinking, how could I tie this to make it? There we go. Maybe it's actually supposed to be tied like this. I'm pretty sure it is. That's probably why it was so baggy. <laughs> At least I tried. Okay, so I've got it on. Now, the pattern doesn't translate as well on camera, but it is beautiful in person. The only problem is that it is very long. Like, it's literally past my knee. So I would defo need to have some sort of belting situation. To be fair, if I then put a belt around this, that would look adorable and very like figure skater vibes. So the pattern is stunning. I could just probably do with an extra small rather than a small, but I'm sure small was the only size that they did. Um, okay, the last two items. Oh wait, no, I can't forget these. So this item was inspired by Abby Blythe. So I was in my bear with Abby, as you may have seen from the vlog, and she had the most adorable like braid clips so like you hook when you do a braid you like hook this into your braid so i got these little star ones from Shein. they had loads of different ones they had shell ones they had so many i do think i will save these for ibiza um because they're just so cute and then the final item is this top so it's this pink sort of like petty bow blouse really beautiful like silky fabric top i'm gonna grab some denim shorts and we'll try it on together pink top on and wow does it look absolutely stunning the fabric really works with these sleeves the chest part is beautiful the only problem is it is weirdly tight just across like the button section so I don't know if when they made this, they didn't take into account the fabric being not that stretchy. Like this fabric has no stretch and them pivoting like different like layered bits. So as we can see, the buttons are a little bit tight on me, which is very annoying. And I got this in a size small, which I definitely don't have like a, I have quite a little area here. Like I'm not very broad. I don't have broad shoulders. I don't have a broad chest. I do have quite a sticky out rib cage. It probably doesn't help. I got that from my dad. Thanks, Papa Grimes. You're a superstar. Um, but I feel like I could still get away with it. Maybe what I need to do is put bigger buttons because I also feel like the buttons for the button holes, like if I actually held it together, it fits fine. 
but because the buttons are quite like thin and the fabric is quite thin it just kind of pulls a little bit um, but I still really really like it this top is still absolutely stunning and I just think it's very very classy and then the final top is another sheer number you guys know I am so obsessed with like these little sheer tops so your gal had to pick up a yellow polka dot one it's not only that it's also got a ruffle around the neck a ruffle down each side so i'm going to grab a bralette and we're going to put on the final item and we shall see what it looks like but hopefully adorable guys it even has fluffy clown like bits around the i was about to say ankles that is definitely wrists now the only problem normally with these tops oh okay maybe not is this bit it's normally mega tight and then you get your makeup all over it but it's actually not so that is brilliant now i do think this would look better if i had a little yellow bra this is quite a big top like it's quite oversized but i'll either be wearing stuff on top of it or tucking it in so i really don't mind um obviously it is quite faint until you come up close so like from far away oh no actually you can really see the yellow in dots but guys how adorable i do think i need to get on asos and get me a yellow bra or I could just wear a yellow bikini top, actually. But this is so very cute. And I just love things like this. I know I should probably stop buying mesh see-through items. But do you remember how I used to say that I loved mesh see-through items, but I never knew how to wear them? And now I know how to wear them. So it's a miracle. So I'm buying all of them. <laughs> But anyway, this wraps up my Shein haul. I know there's been some misses, but mostly hits. I've been very, very happy with the pieces that I picked up and at such a budget-friendly price. I do not mind if I need to make a few tiny little tweaks and twinges. Twinges? Tweaks and... I don't know. Here and there. Anyway, so me and this yellow top is gonna see ya. I'm gonna go pack for the weekend and go and eat something because I am hungry, as per usual. Some things never change. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will link all the items down below. And also, I have a discount code. OMG, let me check. Code MISHA15 to get an extra 15% off. Remember that? MISHA15. So, I'm going to love you and leave you. Make sure to do a like and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Yes, I'll see you next week. On um, Tuesday. Or Thursday. Or whenever you decide to come back and watch me. Okay, so Toodle Pip, I love you guys lots, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.